Well, good morning and welcome to the Shropshire head of the border um, at Alton Village. Right on the border, I've just been dropped off here. So today's walk is the 28th of November 2023. So I've just been dropped outside the Maidenhead pub. Looks like a gastro pub, looks very pretty. So I'm gonna walk into Mortimer, Mortimer Forest again today from here and then walk back into Ludlow so I'm going to take in a, a few sights and through the forest so I'm going to enjoy this walk today so there's a place called the Goggin I'm aiming for first so without further ado let's crack on and well, I've got to a decent little viewpoint in about I've gone to me phone about 18 minutes walk from the Goggin. I don't know if it's a viewpoint. Well, it's obviously going up, but yeah. That's Wofferton there. I'm zooming in on, on the uh, radio aerials. A bit like the ones up at uh, Anton at home. Well, I worked in a similar way during the war. But to the left, you're going towards Ludlow and then beyond you'll have Clee Hill, you can't see it at the moment, there's a bit of cloud cover it's surprisingly mild, the forecast was given it was meant to be getting a bit nippier but it's not bad so I've just come off this road and then I'm going up there now I'll tell you some of some beautiful houses around here very nice so what I've actually done is overshot the Goggin area, which is supposedly in here. I've just come straight up and just completely missed the turn. But that's also a private wood, but I don't know how far this goes up. There's a bit of forestry somewhere. But as I'm coming round now, I'm hoping to get onto a path on the right somewhere. Maybe go across to actually Richard's Castle, but I just lost concentration then. I was just walking along the road and overshot. It don't matter. So, my aim is to get to High Vinoles in um, Mortimer Forest in a bit. I was there two and a half years ago with Karen Penny and of course Monty, and it was a lovely spring evening walking in there. So, it's going to be nice to try and get returning there again. Oh, so I've now come across here, part of the Mortimer Trail, so I've got to go, I would say, up this little bit. Not this bit, because it's somebody's property. So I've walked up from there. So I think this leads to the remains of what is Richard's Castle. So I've never had a look at that over the years, so it'd be interesting to see where I end up. So it's quite a narrow path, this. This is Mortimer's Trail, one of the, the main ones in this area. Um, hope I've gone the right one, mate. <laughs> yeah, there's a sign up here saying, "Yep, that's right." Uh, there you go. Aye. So we're on the right track, I think. <laughs> Must be. Okay. Well, this looks like some sheep enclosure. So I best check my maps and see which part of the path I should have to walk on. I assume here it's kind of following the uh, the field and the tree line. Well, I've ended up veering off as per usual, far too early. So I've hit <laughs> me to get back on track. There was a little off-cut path that I must have missed the turning. Some of these little um, mark signs off the Mortimer Trail, the Herefordshire Trail, they're, they're in white. So, yeah, <laughs> idiot brains missed it. So, I just want to try and take in Richard's Castle, so he's in this direction, I hope. <laughs> Here we am at St Bartholomew's Church. And it's quite a high location here looking right over and I think the old remains from the castle was just behind here in the trees but I don't know how to get to it 
but yeah, it's a very nice little church this. Well actually as I'm walking around it, it's not that small. I think it's a good size, to be honest. Real good size. It's definitely looked after. And this is all on its own. Come back around, I eh, to front. It's uh, very interesting. It's had some hammer that over the years. I'll put a caption on when this was built. Well, a bit of a, a real anticlimax, this. So the castle used to be in this area. Obviously it's just covered in trees and stuff. It remains not a lot here really. Well, I'm gonna stop now for a bite to eat. I'm in the middle of a sheep field. But look at these views out here. Absolutely cracking. You can see clay hill over there now. A bit of cloud on it. And beyond, further back out of that, you go to Kidderminster over that way. Keep panning round to Herefordshire, and it's really hazy. I can, I think, I only just see the Malvern over there. I'm struggling to pick it up because of the sun at the moment. But yeah. It's turned out a pretty day. So I'll be in the forest in a minute, so I'm gonna sit on this nice bench here. A random bench in a field. Could you believe it? Just a long fence line. So it did this is marked on the map on the trail, so there's a corner over there. I'll have to get into the forest. Right, so as predicted, here is the tree line and the start of Mortimer Forest bit. There you go, the Herefordshire Trail and the Mortimer Trail together. So just keep an eye on that signage. Right, let's get to high vinyls and hopefully we'll see some deer along the way. So I've just come out with that little bit there, that path. And so that takes you to the right. But Ivinol's is on this track. There's another track that comes round and goes up as well. Um, when I was here two and a half years ago, we came round this way in the evening. It was a lovely evening walk. So, we're going to go up this track now. And there's a nice little sitting bit up top and it's quite open. I've just seen three or four deer, but they seen me, so I didn't get them on camera, unfortunately. So I'm hoping up here, I did see them last time up here, they'll be here again. <sighs> Something nice about forest walking. Very relaxing. It's dead peaceful. Finally passed a couple of people. Nice little track in, in and out this. So quiet. Really quiet. <clears throat> so let's have a mock with this camera. The zoom's pretty decent on it. I think at the moment the lens is a bit steamed up. better. Very nice. Hi. 
Ah, so it's nice to get away a little brick. See how things go. Folk will be wondering if I am going to get another dog. <laughs> I mean, Penny's doing all right to me, but uh, it's a day to day with her and a mood for a walk, really. But I think once she's out in the open and just not the same environment, she's a different dog. She's bouncing, she wants to do stuff again. But at home, I think she's a bit bored <laughs> with the coastal scenery, so she's quite reluctant. But I know. When she sees the mountains and somewhere different, she's still absolutely bouncing for 15. So, yeah, hopefully we'll see her back out on trails like this soon. And there'll be no top. And here's a seat on the top. Dedicated to the memory of. Ernie Link of Walsall, 1941 to 2004. Always busy, often alert, forever loved by his many walking and mountaineering friends. Rest on Ernie. Very nice. Good shot of Cleal over there, from here. Picking it up. Pick it up nice. Look at the views all around here. Spectacular. Gorgeous sunny day. Stunning. See for absolute miles and miles like. There's a campsite over there. If I'm not mistaken, over there. Here. One I didn't know about. I just thought the nearest one to Lee was Wycliffe um, campsite just above Ludlow. Yeah, I picked the crack and did have a wonder like, gotta say. Very nice. So I'm gonna make my way back down into Ludlow. I don't know how long that's gonna take, maybe an hour or two, through the forest tracks. Hopefully see some more dinner. I think they're all hiding up here. Last time I was up here, there was loads in that direction. And I got a couple of good shots of them, but um, there's a few people around today. I've passed one or two folk just on this stretch here. So yeah. So quiet up here, no wind at all. No wind. Let's see how much a clear I can pick up with a steady hand. I said no wind and there's a little bit of gust to come up. That's a little bit blurry. Yeah. Quite a distance away that isn't it? Still a decent zoom on that. He ain't complaining. Yeah, there's a campsite over there. Just thought it was. Over there, yeah. I'll have to look that up. Right, let's make our way down. Terrific view out this way. The path here is the Mortimer Trail. Now he's going through all this bracken. Good camouflage is for deer. That's why it's pretty tricky to see in here. I bet there's loads amongst all this today. Uh, if you look, zoom in. There's Cleal and all its surrounding villages. I haven't seen any big birds of prey today, which is quite surprising, but I'm sure there's some about. Uh, I need to find my way down here somewhere. 
I will do. Now one thing for sure they've had up here um, over the last couple of years, they had a big storm um, and on this side when there's been a northerly wind there's been some pile of damage done. I mean these are the, the thinner weaker trees so these will just get blown over but down by the road that goes down into Whitcliffe, uh, into Ludlow and that was a mess. Some big trees fell there, in fact the road was blocked, I mean even if you just look along here now there's been some of these smaller ones just barged over. So I've got a couple of miles to go yet. But there's plenty of life left. Life? Light? Light! Yeah, light left. Well, deep in the middle of these woods. Deep in the middle of these woods. <laughs> You've got a cottage over there <laughs> and an old big old shed here so yeah I wonder if it was an old forestry commission area but someone obviously lives here there's all kinds of trails along here like it's very easy to get lost and so I'm taking my time with my decision making which is left which is right there's a lot of undulating turns but um I think my next day I'm looking on my map is the Whitcliffe viewpoint so we'll see if I make it there if I've gone in the right direction <coughs> well this is the Whitcliffe viewpoint I know you can't really see much the trees have grown I'm sure I've been here before on um, one of Monty's first ever walks when he was a little boy <laughs> It just, just feels familiar. But yeah, you got to say, it, the trees have grown. But yeah, we've come from over that side there, where, where the forest... I'll zoom across. Yeah, in that forest there, part of the forest, I've come down to come back up again, so it was quite a steep hike up here. Uh, so we've got like an outbuilding here, strangely enough. And the trail there. Um, can have a rush at this building. Rude not to. Let's have a look. I don't know what it is. It's part of the Forestry Commission. Oh, there you go. Skull and crossbones. Authorised persons on me. So it probably was. Ever so quiet. Ever so quiet. So yeah. It's good to get up to with this. But the trees haven't half grown. New trees here. And there's a trail I'm going to go back. It's just quite a nice uh, flat bit. You could uh, definitely do a cheeky camp up here like in the evening. Most definitely. So this is the Modern Forest Whitcliffe Car Park. So I've just come back from down there. Looks like they're doing some building there. This is the main car park and, and there's the main road but I think there's a short good town here. Nice large picnic area here as well. So I'm actually just walking to Wycliffe Common before I'm getting collected. Because time's getting on. I've been out for five hours. Hi. Some nice little picnic areas here. Well, I'll crack on down the bottom. Well, this is a late afternoon shot of Ludlow Town Centre with Clear Hill above. Last bit of sunshine on top of Clear Hill.
church. Right, that's the end of the walk with Cliff Common. Just over 10 miles I did. As dusk descends on Ludlow. Cracking walk. And I've got a lift back. Fancy seeing you, were you? Is this where they come dogging? Ah, it's <laughs> 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 yeah, silly me. Right, I've waffled on enough in this video. So I've enjoyed that. A good 10 miler. My legs feel absolutely fine. Don't know where I'm going to next, but hopefully it'll be another one down even before I head back to Cumbria. So that's goodbye from me. And goodbye from Cameron in the car.